The Austrian school of economic thought consists of the ideas of subjective evaluation, methodological individualism, the organizing power of the free market via the price mechanism, and many other intellectual insights that has its philosophical and historical roots traced back in much earlier times. The teachings of Austrian economics can be discovered in the East Ancient philosophy of Laoism and Taoism in the 5th century BCE, with the teachings of Lao Tzu in his prominent work Tao Te Ching. Lao Tzu's teachings contain the theme of individualism and acting according to the way which can be interpreted as acting according to how nature demands. The epistemological teachings of Austrian economics has its roots in Aristotle's discovery of deductive reasoning in the 4th century. The line of reasoning discovered by Aristotle is considered to be that of logic and valid arguments through deductive reasoning. Jumping to the 16th century, the first modern pre-Austrians were the Spanish scholastics, led by St. Thomas Aquinas, who continued the line of deductive reasoning and discovered economic laws in his teachings at the University of Salamanca in Spain. Aquinas and his followers based their teachings on Aristotelian logic to create scholasticism. The scholastics discovered subjective evaluation along with the existence and universality of economic laws, such as the laws of demand and supply, the cause of inflation which is a rise in the money supply, and has the consequence of increased prices. As well, the scholastics viewed interest as a premium for risk and time preferences, which led to their being kicked out of the university because the Catholic Church viewed interest rates negatively. In 1598, Father Juan de Mariana published a book titled On the King and the Royal Institution, which consisted of information about the nature of government. The scholastics were advocates of natural law, natural rights in the form of property rights, as well as strong proponents of private property, freedom to contract with one another, freedom to trade and travel in all parts of the world independently. With respect to government rule, the scholastics wanted to put limits on legitimate rule of government and advocated just war for preventative defense as they were also opposed to most taxes and business regulations. The French physiocrats were an 18th century group of French economists that developed the economic theory of physiocracy, which is the idea that the wealth of nations is derived from the value of agriculture and land development. Some of the prominent members of the French physiocrats were Richard Cantillon, Turgot, Jean-Baptiste Say, and Frederick Bastiat. A few of the basic principles held by the physiocrats were natural rights and natural order, where man did not come together via somewhat arbitrary social contract, as Rousseau believed. Rather, that our competitive instincts may have evolved as part of a humankind natural selfish behavior. Through exchanging favors in trade, we can benefit ourselves as well as others. Individualism and laissez-faire laissez-passer where self-interest is the motivating reason for each segment of the society to play its role, private property ownership where private property is a critical component of society's functioning, and that capital is essential. The physiocrats were defenders of interest rates and capital formation because it serves a strategic function in the economy. The founder of the Austrian school is Karl Menger, who developed the subjective theory of value in response to the classical liberals and Marxist theories of an objective theory of value. As well, Menger applied deductive reasoning to economics in opposition to the German historical school of economics who viewed economics as an empirical science. Menger also contributed the theory of imputation to the science of economics where factors add to the cost of production and the price listed for certain goods and services. Frederick von Weiser was a student of Menger's who developed the theory of opportunity costs and resource prices as being derived from the expected price of the consumer good. Another student of Menger's was Eugene von Bambauer, who developed the theory of capital and interest in his book under the same title, as well as the theory of time in the economic process. Ludwig von Mises is referred to as the dean of the Austrian school, but is also regarded by some as the greatest economist of the 20th century. Mises introduced praxeology as the science of human action, which he wrote in his magnum opus, Human Action, a treatise on economics. Mises also developed the socialist calculation problem along with his student Friedrich Hayek, who together took on the German historical school in the socialist calculation debate, officially known as the Methodentrate debate, where Mises and Hayek argued that within a centrally planned economy, 
price mechanism is lacking to efficiently allocate scarce resources, which results in either shortages or surpluses in society. Mises, along with Hayek, developed the business cycle theory, which is the notion that there are cyclical swings in an economy due to credit expansion and quantitative easing by government policy. Frederick Hayek also developed the idea that the free market brings forth a spontaneous order that emerges out of a seeming chaos. The most notable student of Mises was Murray Rothbard, who diverged from Mises in order to advance the economic science within a framework of establishing the theory of anarchy within a private law society in an unhampered free market economy. Today, there are many Austrian economists and even more students studying the great works of these past thinkers, most notably at the Mises Institute, where curious minds from all over the world go to continue their intellectual pursuit in the youngest of all sciences, economics.